What's up everybody, welcome to Make This, your online food show in which we cook some stuff. Now today's recipe is something that I've been thinking about in my mind this past week, and it is going to be a Filipino style breakfast sandwich. Now, it's going to be based off of longuinisa. Now if you don't know what longuinisa is, it is a Filipino sausage usually eaten in breakfast. And there's two types, there is a vinegar based one and there's a sweeter one. I'm going to be doing the sweeter one because that's what I like. And with this, the, my twist to this, it's going to be using, instead of a traditional like Filipino bread like pan de sal or anything like that, I'm going to be using a rice patty bread, or bun if you will. So I'm going to show you all that and to top it off, we're going to be using a Filipino, like a traditional Filipino mixture or salsa for lack of better words to put on top of it to cut some of the sweetness out and richness because trust me, it's going to be rich. Anyways, I'm going to show you what you need, how to put it all together, and the finished product. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Now to put together our longuinisa, all we're gonna do is take our pork and all those ingredients that I've listed below and basically throw them into the pork. So our garlic, brown sugar, oh look at that. Huh. We will put in our soy sauce right over and our apple cider vinegar. Whoop that there. We're cracking some pepper. Oh, wait. Whoop. There we go. About two teaspoons. And a teaspoon of salt. That's basically it for our longuinisa. We'll mix it all up by hand because your hands are the best tools for anything, in cooking I should say. Nice mix. Now you can see off to my side here, I have some foil just waiting for me. Because once this is all mixed up, I'm going to start making patties out of them. So once everything is nicely mixed, what we're going to do is make about golf ball size chunks of meat and we're going to press it out until it makes a patty. Now these are not going to be that big. Uh, you can make them as any size you want, obviously. So, ooh, get off my hand. So we're going to go about for this size. I'm going to put this off to the side and let it hang out. So I'm going to do this for the rest of them. And I'll show you what they look like afterwards. Now here it is. Now for the sake of filming, I didn't make all of it. I just only made a couple of them. Like I said, you can make any size you want. Go for like a little smaller one, to about a medium sized one, into a bigger one. So just for the sake of filming, I only made a couple of patties. Now we're gonna move on to making our rice bun. So for our rice bun, it's super complicated. All we need is rice. Yeah, see, seriously, that's all we need is rice. So to make our uh, rice bun, the first thing I'm going to do is spray my hand with some non-stick spray. And now we're just going to take chunks of this rice, a good golf ball size, a little bit, a little bit bar bigger than a golf ball. Like that. And we're just going to press it out. So, to the patty that we're going to be making, so that, you know, the size of the patty that we're going to be making, or cooking, I should say. So, there you go. Like that. Do that again. Oh, sticky, sticky. A little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. Like that. Press together. such and 
and that's it. I'm only gonna do one one set of bun. You get the idea. So that's it for our rice bun. Next thing we're gonna do is put together our Filipino salsa type dressing thing. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Now to make our Filipino topping, all we're gonna do is take our bowl and our onion and tomatoes, put it in there, and then just top it off with our fish sauce. Now this is what this is gonna do really is help cut the richness of longanisa and the sweetness of it. And plus this is more of like a traditional topping that you usually have during breakfast. So I decided, hey, why not throw it in there? That's it. That's all I gotta do. Let this hang out and uh, be merry. So I'm gonna show you how to take all this stuff and cook it up right now. The first thing we're gonna cook for our Longuinisa burger is going to be the buns themselves. So I have a little bit of oil in my cast iron skillet over a medium high heat. And all we're gonna do is just let these sit and brown up. And I'll show you what they look like when they're done. So this has been cooking up for about four minutes. We're gonna go, go ahead and flip them over. Doesn't look much, but that outside is nice and crispy. Now we're gonna let these cook off for another four minutes. So it's been about another four minutes. This is what we want our rice patties to look like. It has a nice little crispiness to the top. And we're gonna move these off to the side. And now in this same pan, what we're gonna be doing is cooking our burger. So it's over, I'm gonna turn it down to a medium heat. Take one of our patties, put it right in the middle, and we're gonna let this cook off for about, ooh, I wanna say five to six minutes. But I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. So it's been about six minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Now look at that. That nice caramelization, a little bit of the garlic peeking out. So we're cooking this up for another five to six minutes. And then after that, we're gonna throw this all together. So to assemble this thing, super simple. Take one of our rice patties, put it at the bottom. We're gonna take our longuinisa patty, put it on top. Now we're going to add that little mixture that we made earlier. We're gonna take some onions right here and some tomato on top now while I was putting this all together I thought of one more thing that this thing could use and it is an egg because why not it's like breakfast now and then we're gonna top this off with our other bun, but I don't want to do that just yet. Put it off to the side. Actually, I'll just do that. There, push everything to the side. Like that. So, this is uh, it right here. My plate's all dirty. But I'm going to change up the scene and show you up close. So, here it is guys. This is my Longuinisa burger. I wonder if you can see it. Rice bun patty, my Longuinisa patty, my Filipino dressing or topping as you can say, and an egg. So this is what goes on in my mind and I decided to, hey, why not? Let's make it. So if you like what we're doing, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. All that social media BS down there. And remember, eat.